Hi everyone, uh, I'm just going to give a brief uh, rundown on the the military radio conversions that I do <clears throat> uh, to network radio. So I'm just going to show you basically how it works. Um, on the left we've got the microphone sockets uh, which is actually the external speaker socket as well. You can put audio through there as well. Uh, we've got a button here for selecting different uh, PTT buttons. So some apps require different PTT buttons. Uh, so that's what that is for. Uh, the Zello, Peanut and Echolink, uh, they're all using the same PT PTT button. Uh, there's one other app that I use which requires a different PTT button. So anything that, um, any app that needs a hotway hotway mapping button that's what that is used for uh, we have the keypad jar on the right hand side um, this is your display settings uh, which is separate uh, from the Android system <clears throat> so if we click menu you can see it brings up uh, all the display settings just exit there uh, this is your volume up and down We've got a volume here, yeah, which is your master volume, um, which controls everything. This is more your in-app in or system volume. Uh, this volume is also your on and off button. Uh, we've got all the navigation keys there. This is your end of transmission tone. Uh, so there's a few end of transmission tones in this uh, radio. So if we just do a test here. Check one, check two, one, two. Check one, check two, one, two. Click down. One, two, check, one, two, check. One, two, check, one, two, check. Yeah, so that selects your end of transmission tones. Uh, we got the power button, which is your system power. Power off and restart. <clears throat> This is a three-way switch, uh, so you can select audio, um, which goes to the microphone. So we've got a speaker mic here, or you can select the internal speaker, or you can mute everything. So that's uh, what that is used for. Uh, we've got two more buttons here on top. So this uh, network radio has a STR built in. So uh, if we click on this one, see it lights up. Uh, activates the SDR. To switch that off, there's another button here to switch on the uh, 4G LTE. I've got the uh, LTE um, uh, module inside here. Yeah? Um, yeah, so that's the front. Uh, let's move on to the back and I'll show you the connections on the back. Okay, so this is the back of the radio. Uh, we've got a few antennas on here. Uh, these two here, uh, on the left and right, that's for the cell phone, for the LTE 4G, uh, which I'll upgrade to 5G shortly. Uh, we got the SDR antenna there. Uh, we got the power, which requires approximately three amps. Uh, any anything between eight to thirty volts. We got the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, we got a USB socket here, yeah, um, which I use for the GPS antenna. Uh, it's just a normal uh, USB socket, and there's the GPS antenna that sits on top. So yeah, that's uh, that's the back of the radio. I just want to show you underneath the radio quick. Uh, I've got these nice little tilt tilt stand legs which prop the radio up. That's quite nice when you want to view the screen at an angle. Uh, the main board sits in there. The board is module in design. So there's a few modules that fit onto it. Um, that's inside there. Um, I've also got this uh, microphone which is a sort of military style handset got the PTT button on here. It's quite nice when you want to um, talk late at night and uh, everybody wants to sleep. Uh, so that's what, that's what I use that one for there. And uh, that's what the connections look like. So yeah, anybody who's uh, interested, uh, let me know. Um, 
As I say, I'm doing the conversions on the network radio. This is the uh, Android version. I do have um, a Windows version as well, which I'll demonstrate later. Anyway, thanks for viewing. Any questions, uh, let me know.